The three domain system is used to classify organisms based on their cells RNA, cell membrane structure, and sensitivity to antibiotics. And there are three main domains of life. This includes bacteria, archaea, and eukarya. So organisms in the bacteria domain are all prokaryotes, which means that their DNA is not enclosed in a nuclear membrane. In addition, their cell walls contain peptidoglycan, which is a structure made up of sugars and amino acids. Organisms in the archaea domain are also prokaryotes, but their cell walls do not contain peptidoglycan. Organisms that fall within the eukarya domain are all eukaryotes, which means that their DNA is enclosed in a nuclear membrane. Not all eukarya have a cell wall, but for those that do, it does not contain peptidoglycan. Examples of eukaryotes include plants, animals, fungi, protozoa, algae, and parasites. So outside of these three domains, we also have acellular infectious agents, which are technically not considered organisms. So acellular means not composed of cells. So anytime you see A or AN followed by another word, that means without the thing that follows. So examples of acellular infectious agents include viruses, viroids, and prions. 